Manchester United leads at Aston Villa, watched here by Roy Keane and Jamie Redknapp. Has it been a better Manchester United performance, Roy? I think United have done well, really. Well, I think the, the, they've got plenty of space. They're uh, taking advantage of Fernandes running the show, particularly the first half an hour. They started quickly, got the early goal. Phil had a decent spell, I suppose, to end, towards the end of the first half. But United will be delighted. I thought they've been compact. But the criticism of Villa, you know, United are getting plenty of time and space on the ball and they do have the quality to hurt you. So, but once they've got a, a bit of a foothold in the game, I think the fact they're playing with two up front, Villa, it makes it more difficult. So you lose a midfielder in that respect. This is a really good chance. Buendia has all the free, freedom of the park in there because someone's got to pick him up. Good header, good piece of play. You can see that David De Gea moves his feet really well. And he's been, you've been reliant on him a little bit this season. He's made some great saves, full of confidence right now. Again, this one is... And Villa started to just get ahead of steam. Starting to get balls into the box. You can see there was a little bit happening. That would have been a great start for Dinya. And the fact that he makes that another save like that. I mean, he'll be getting on the bus soon, Roy, if he carries on like yeah, this. Yeah, he's, he's a lot back on the bus somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's definitely back to his best form. He's had a good season, hasn't he, so far? Yeah, but he's easy to save. I'd expect him to, to, to save, but he's definitely back, back to, I think, his best. Definitely. I'm happy to give him credit for that. <laughs> United can be pretty happy at half-time. They've scored uh, exactly one goal in the... Behind Paul Fernandez and the goalkeeper dropped it and it's in. It's an horrendous mistake from Emmy Martinez. So reliable since he joined Villa, but that was a horrible moment for Emmy Martinez. Now, will we see better handling tonight in the NFL playoffs, which get underway this evening? Nine o'clock Raiders at Bengals and Patriots at Bills uh, follows that game. It seems like Aston Villa might have to make a change. We saw him hobbling around at the end of the first half. He uh, looks like he's having a little test here. No, doesn't look good, does it? Esri Konza, we think, is not going to take part in the second half, which is coming your way next. biggest ever January sale is now on. Hello, lovers. Right now, you can get award-winning Sky TV and Sky Broadband for an incredible €49 Euro a month. Whoa, Nelly. Enjoy our best ever Wi-Fi and all the TV you love in one place. Easy. Get Sky TV and Sky Broadband for just €49 Euro a month for 12 months. Now there is a great deal to be done. Don't miss our biggest ever January sale. Search Sky 49. Four shots on target from Manchester United in that first half. They haven't had more than that under Ralph Rangnick. Has, has Mason Greenwood typified a more energetic performance, Roy? Yeah, Green Greenwood looks back to maybe his best. And, and you always know when he gets chances, generally speaking, he will hit the target. So United have looked comfortable going forward. You mentioned there before the break, will one goal be enough? I don't think so. I think Villa will have their moments. But Greenwood, there's been better movement. I think Elanga has been a definite threat running behind. And these are the chances, obviously, Fernandez rolling him in there. It's not a, a great chance. But he hits the target. Nine times out of ten, he does the kid. So United will be pleased with the hack and play. But I don't, I don't think one goal will be enough tonight. That fitness test was eye raising, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could have done that in the dressing room, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't think Roy enjoyed it. <laughs> it was a sure but, one. But uh, yeah. no, but they've probably got to make a change. I think Courtney Howes will come on at centre back, and it's just that disruption that you don't need. I think Villa fans will be looking forward to seeing maybe Coutinho. It depends how fit.